Dragon Masters, Rise of the Earth Dragon, Chapters 3 and 4. Chapter 3, More Dragons. Drake's mind was spinning as he left the wizard's workshop. He followed Griffith to a big underground room. There were no windows. Torches hung on the walls. Drake saw Rory and Vulcan. He also saw two more kids and two more dragons. Drake, this is Bo, Griffith said, pointing to a boy with black hair. And his dragon, Shu. Bo was petting his dragon's tail. This dragon had shiny blue scales, but no wings. Hi, Drake said. Nice to meet you, Drake, the boy said politely. Griffith led Drake over to a girl with long black hair. Her dragon had white scales. A yellow band of scales circled the dragon's neck. The tips of its wings were yellow, too. This is Anna and her dragon, Kepri, Griffith said. Drake nodded. Hi, he said. We could use somebody new around here, Anna said with a grin. You have met the other dragon masters and their dragons. It is time for you to meet your dragon, Griffith said. Drake's heart pounded. My family will never believe this, he thought. Just this morning I was digging onions. Now I have ridden a horse, I've met a wizard, I've seen the dragon stone, and I'm going to have my very own dragon? He and the other dragon masters followed Griffith down another dark hallway. The dragons sleep in caves when they're not training, Bo explained as they walked. Vulcan's cave is the biggest, bragged Rory. Griffith stopped in front of a small cave. Wood bars covered the cave. Drake, meet your dragon, the wizard said. Chapter 4 Worm Drake peered inside the dark cave. A dragon sat inside. Well, this creature kind of looks like a dragon, Drake thought. The dragon had brown scales that weren't shiny. He had two tiny wings. He had big green eyes and little ears. And he didn't have legs. He looked like a big snake. The only dragon-like thing about him seemed to be his long snout. Drake stepped up to the wood bars. Hi, dragon. I'm Drake. The dragon didn't move. Put on the stone, Griffith said. Drake slipped the green stone around his neck. He felt a tingly feeling all over his body. Right away, the dragon lifted his head. He stared at Drake with his big green eyes. Drake felt a strange chill. Griffith stepped forward. You must name your dragon, he said. Rory piped up. Good luck naming him. He looks boring. How about Noodlehead? Anna asked with a giggle. Bo shook his head. No, this dragon needs a good name. Drake looked carefully at the dragon. He looked at his long brown body. Worm, he said. 
His name is Worm. That is a good name for an earth dragon, said Griffith, opening the gate. Now, Drake, ask Worm to follow you. Okay, Drake said. Worm, please follow me. Worm crawled forward. Good work, said the wizard. Keep it up, Drake. Come on, Drake said, starting to walk down the hallway. Worm crawled after him. He really is like a big, ugly worm, Rory said. Rory, be nice, said Anna. Drake didn't say anything. Worm was like a big worm. Where are we going? he asked. To the training room, Griffith replied. Yeah, said Rory. We'll see what you and your dragon are made of. Drake felt nervous. He touched his dragon stone. How am I supposed to train a dragon, he thought. What if I fail? What if I'm not a dragon master after all? Chapters 3 and 4 how does Drake feel before meeting his dragon? Number two. What does Rory think about Drake's dragon? Number three. Whose dragon has white scales? To be continued.